Hello friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Dirt to Daytona Career Mode series. Let's see how we did last episode and see where we're headed today. So last episode saw our best race so far. We qualified in the 15th position and we finished 8th. We led a lap and finished on the lead lap. And I, I think we did pretty solid. We're still 27th in the points, but we are inching a little closer to moving up. So let's see where we're headed today. You'll also notice the available funds have dropped since the last episode. I did purchase an exhaust upgrade. It's supposed to add about 20 horsepower, so I hope it's noticeable. Let's see if we're headed somewhere we're going to need it. And we are running a night race at Richmond. We will be accelerating off of the corners a lot. So hopefully that extra power helps us out. And let's hop straight into practice. Ooh. About caused an accident in the pits. So Richmond is a track that we definitely have struggled at in the lower levels. This is also a track that I struggled at a ton in iRacing. So this will be an interesting one for sure. Okay, Tony, I was there, but no, that's cool. Yeah, send it in too hard and almost spin yourself out, idiot. We definitely need to be looser coming out of the corner. So that is a change I'm definitely going to try to make, but the car does not seem too bad. I think we're at a pretty good spot gear wise. Yeah, we just need that turn off of the corner. So I made the first round of changes. I just messed with the shocks a little bit. So we will see what that does for us. All right, I feel pretty good. I am gonna make a couple more changes. See if we can get this thing to turn a little bit better. I did a few more changes. I added the grill tape, messed with the shocks a little more, and I also messed with the tire pressure just a little bit. So let's see how we're doing. Clear 
Still there. I'm mad at that guy. That was a great lap. So even with the damage we've sustained on this run, that was a pretty solid lap. Stay low. Still there. I think the car Clear is pretty eye. good. That guy's car ain't good. I'm gonna go ahead and qualify. Twenty-two four. My goodness. Go, 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 go. Ah, we caught the wall already. Fantastic. This does not seem like a very good lap so far. Twenty-three eight. Wasn't the worst, wasn't the prettiest. So we're twentieth. Starting on the outside. Fantastic. Alright, Alan, tell us about Richmond. Whether under the lights or the bright sun of day, Richmond International Raceway is home to excitement. The Action Track, as it's known, combines the best of both worlds, super speedway speeds, and short track action. At three quarters of a mile in length, it's not unusual to witness tempers flaring at Richmond. Thank you, Alan. I have a very good, very good feeling that some tempers are going to flare this race. 52 laps. Oh, boy. Carlo. Comment below, are we going to make it all 52 laps? Still there, clear high. Carlo. Look at all that. Clear. We made it a whole lap with no damage. At a short Carlo. track. Carlo. <laughs> all clear. Didn't make it two laps with no damage. Slow down. There's a spin in turn two. Oh, Carlo. we're fine. Carlo. Everything's Carlo. fine. Oh, that was ugly. Well, if I pit now, I can Start make out. sure that I make it on fuel. We'll do that. It appears our leader, Dale Jr., is going to be pitting. But if they have better fuel economy than me, they should be able to make it on one stop, no problem, if they stop around halfway. But they'll still have to stop again. So this is an interesting, interesting strategy, Cotton. We'll see how that plays out. All right, give it up for P40. Woo. Yeah, I just don't get why they would pit if they have no damage. Whatever. Get set, the race is going green. There's the green flag. I don't know why everybody doesn't do this. It just seems like the big brain move. Oof. I guess learning to drive would also be a big brain move, but uh, 
I haven't done that yet. Car high. Still there. Car high. You're three wide. Okay, guys. I am Car here. High. I swear, they just act like you're not there, there at so many tracks. It's insane. Clear high. So I think the way the car is set up, it should get tighter throughout the run. So if I can hang on and not crash right now, while it is very loose, Hopefully, it will move to where it is good and drivable loose. Oh, let's not hit the wall. That's there. like All clear. half of the racing is not hitting cars and not hitting the wall. Still there. Clear high. All clear. That was a great lap. Look at us. Running 23s. We've almost got to our pole speed. Stay low. Still there. All clear. When I think about now the car is starting to come in and be drivable, which is nice. Oil temps are still really low. I probably could have added another 10% or more of grill tape. Really wish people would pick a lane. Still there. All clear. close to a lap down too. This is great. This is wonderful. Steve, if you could stop looking low and just drive and leave me alone, that would be so appreciated. That was a great lap. Oh, all right. Okay. I love when my car is not predictable at all and weird things happen every lap. That makes me confident that I will drive good and not crash. Oh look, and there's the leaders. Car low. All clear. Certainly they won't shove it in somewhere and cause a wreck by driving aggressively. Still there. Well, I have a good feeling we are not going to run all 52 of the laps.
I really thought I was going to make more passes after pitting, but uh, seems like that might not be the case. Still there. Still there. You're all clear. Oh, he saved it. It's fine. He just did a nice little 360 and then kept going. So unfortunately, the car has pretty much stayed uncomfortably loose. So I'm going to have to make some adjustments on my pit stop. Which we've still got eight laps of fuel, I would assume. The guys that didn't pit are probably going to have to start pitting soon. Okay, that's the halfway mark. Car low. Oh. I think that's a blown tire for our buddy Dale Jarrett there. Car high. I'm interested to see when these guys have to pit because I would think it's coming up pretty soon. Still there. Car high. All clear. Clear high. Car high. Clear high. Car high. Still there. Still there. Ooh, we have three laps of fuel remaining. We have maybe three laps of tire remaining. All clear. Oh, that's two races in a row. I've almost killed Dale Car doing low. that. The leader's going into the pit. Car high. Clear high. Car low. Still there. You're all clear. Plenty to go. This car is so loose. Still there. The 21 car is headed into the pit. Car high. You're three wide. Clear low. Clear high. All right, I think I got one more lap in me. That was a great lap. Huh, we just ran our car best low. lap ever, and we are a wrecked car bucket low. of junk. Oh, Dale! Oh, Dale! Oh, no! There's a spin in turn two! Oh, no! I'm sorry, Dale. Oh, man! Get set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. So, the... 
timing of that caution was very fortunate for us. Very unfortunate for a lot of the field. It's nice to see that Dale Jr. is still alive after that crash because that was rough. Yeah, so we're ninth place, last car on the lead lap. <laughs> there. Car high. Hold your line. Clear low. I did tighten the car up a little bit during the pit stop just because of the Stay high. Still there. very, very squirrely nature of the car. I don't want to wreck Clear high. from a top 10 spot. Car low. Still there. All clear. And I think we're faster than Steve Park, so I think we might be able to get that spot. Maybe even Ward Burton if we're lucky. But Dale Jr. just drove right away once he passed me again. Oh man. Oh man, again. Clear high. All clear. Okay, nobody crashed. Everything's fine. Bummer for Jeff Gordon Carlo. getting caught a lap down and all that. Still there. I would assume nobody's gonna have to pit again. Anybody pits under green. Oh Still man. There. I feel like go. sometimes the crew chief awareness on here is like anti tail levels of awareness. Still there. Still there. So we've still got eight laps to go, but if we can somehow hang on for two eighth place finishes in a row, we're pretty happy. Car high. All clear. Car high. All clear. Kurt Busch back in 10th has cut the deficit down under 10 seconds. When the run started, he was like 22 seconds behind. He was essentially a lap down just ahead of us on track. Oh, that, that wasn't pretty. Five laps to go. Five to go. I gotta pass Steve Park back. Come back. I 
I am starting to drive not so good. But we'll get him back. Oh yeah. You're toast, bud. Hello there. All clear. That wasn't exactly how I had planned to do that pass. There's but... a spin in turn two. Oh well. Two to go. Sorry, Steve. He got it back going, he's fine. Carlo. Still there. Last lap. The leader was right behind us, but that's okay. We are gonna have back-to-back 8th -back place finishes. Back-to-back -back lead lap finishes. After that 41st place finish in Daytona, I was real worried that this was gonna be really rough, but... I think we're making some progress. So no laps led this time, but lead lap, 8th place, super stoked. I'm assuming we made some money again. Another 132,000 in the bank. Real happy about that. So we started 20th, pretty good improvement to make it up to 8th, and it looks like we've moved up to 26th in the season standings. We're only 16 points behind Steve Park. Probably would have been more if we didn't spin him out with two laps to go, but it's fine. Everything's fine. And that is going to do it for another episode. I just want to say a big thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. And subscribe if you're not. I hope I catch you in the next one. See ya.